what's up YouTube my name is Jay and welcome back to Nerds on Crack so today we're gonna do a quick video on uh, how to install the Plex server uh, so Plex it's a, a media player it has a client side and a server side so most of the time your server is running on a PC uh, it can run on Windows Mac Linux and uh, your server it's actually where you store all your uh, media all your files so pictures videos uh, that's you if you have videos movies and stuff like that make sure that you download them uh, legally all right guys I'm not gonna repeat myself everything should be legal so on your client side uh, the client uh, it's what runs on either uh, your uh, iOS device so it can be your phone your Android phone Windows phone if uh, some Windows phone still exists your either your Apple TV, Android box, the best Android box is the Nvidia Shield. And for those who don't have it, you should put the money on it, all right? Uh, you can have also the client on your Xbox, your PlayStation 4, and as you can see here, uh, you have PlayStation 4, you have Amazon Fire TV. You can also run it from your uh, your your PS3, Xbox 360, and even from your Chromecast. So you have a lot of uh, clients uh, that you can run on uh, many, many different platforms, even your web browser and stuff like that. So it's pretty useful and it will run all the media that you saved on your server that was uh, installed on your PC, it can be your PC somewhere. So you open an account, you install your server, uh, set up all your media, and then you can have access to them uh, from in your house, on your uh, Apple TV, your Android box, and everything. You can watch your all your movies that you downloaded legally. I'm just gonna repeat that word, all right? I already have an account, uh, so I'm just gonna download the server. Uh, so you can see here on this tab, you have to download the server. Uh, download. You choose your platform so like I said for your server you can have it on your Windows Mac Linux this one I have absolutely no idea what this is you can have it on a NAS uh, NAS is uh, network attached storage so uh, it's a storage that uh, that is accessible on the network so you can have also access to your Plex from anywhere as long as you have an internet access so you can as install also your server on all those platforms uh, I haven't tried it yet but uh, we'll see maybe later on so me uh, I'm running Ubuntu so uh, I'm installing this one on uh, Linux so download this one Ubuntu 64 and when it's downloaded I will come back to you guys uh, so here guys uh, for me it's downloaded uh, you can do the same on uh, your Mac and your uh, Windows machine so you just double click I'm sure on Windows you're gonna have a that exe uh, file to install so you install this one I'm gonna give my password And once this is done and all set up, uh, we're gonna switch to uh, to the client, and then I will show you maybe from my phone or from my uh, Nvidia Shield, and uh, just to see uh, how it's done. Okay, so this one I think is complete. So if I come here, I should have. Oh yeah, there it is. Plex Media Server. I'm gonna do sign in. There you go. Okay, so here it is, guys. Just like I was explaining uh, here, how Plex works. So Plex Media Server runs on a computer where you keep all your media. Uh, Plex scan your media automatically, organize it, and make it beautiful. Play your media on your screen if your favorite Plex. Okay. We got it so you have your you can run it on your uh, your phone your tablet 
your TV, your computer, etc. Okay, so this is Plex Packs. I think uh, you can pay for uh, some of the features that you want. I'm not gonna buy that. Whatever. Okay, guys, so here we have the server setup page. Um, this one, I think you give a name for uh, your Plex app. I'm gonna click next. Uh, uh, here you need to add your media library. Now guys, from here, we're gonna start adding uh, the libraries. Uh, so we're gonna start with libraries of movies. Uh, so I'm gonna leave it at, as movies, browse folder. Uh, so for me, I have an external hard drive, not an external, but it's, uh, it's an internal one mounted in my uh, uh, PC. Uh, I'm gonna show you, especially for us guys in Linux, you're gonna have to modify the permission so that the Plex server will be able to see it. Otherwise, you won't. Just to show you, for example, me, uh, my external hard drive, which is, let me show you, it's this one, which is mounted here. Uh, so you have to change the permission at least to have read uh, read and execute for other user so for yourself yes but for other users so you need to do a ch mod uh, for those who have Linux for those on Windows I mean you don't have to do anything okay you can just uh, go back here and uh, continue on your uh, to add all the media so here for movies, I'm gonna add movies. I have all my movies. I'm gonna do add libraries. Okay, so it's gonna scan and start adding everything. I'm gonna add another one uh, for my TV shows. Next, browse uh, this one. I go into TV shows, add add libraries I'm gonna add another one because I have uh, okay I'm gonna choose other video because I'm gonna rename this one to all the mangas that I have browse on repo and this one add so it's gonna continue to scan and add everything See, it's gonna search for also uh, all your titles and it's gonna search for uh, the thumbnails and it's gonna put everything nicely for you this is on the server side so this one I was just setting up the server and as soon as that's done we're gonna uh, have a look and after that we're gonna go to the client to see how it works okay guys I'll be back Okay guys, so now uh, that the sync is done, uh, I have all my movies, um, so it, it's honestly it's pretty nice and pretty interesting. Uh, it grabs all the thumbnails from the internet, so it's going to download everything uh, for the TV shows. It will, if you have like a lot of TV shows, it will group everything, it will try at least to group everything into one folder. Uh, for all my... Uh, anime and manga I mean it's uh, it's a little bit messed up in my uh, I'm gonna have to rearrange everything and resync so I'm gonna try to see uh, how it goes and how it plays on uh, on the client now all right so now guys uh, here we are on my uh, Android shield uh, I'm just gonna go and uh, click on the Plex client uh, I already set up my account so we're just gonna go and see the movie that we set up on the server I click on movies, all movies. Now we can see that honestly everything is uh, arranged properly. Uh, it's beautiful, right? So let's check one of the movies and see how it will play. We can see that we can have uh, Rotten Tomatoes uh, reviews. Uh, we have different options. Uh, you can go in settings and uh, you have different options. Uh, in more, you can add to the queue. You can delete. 
if you click on that arrow you go on to the next movie uh, you come back and uh, we're just gonna play this one and see uh, the quality oh it's loading pretty fast actually yeah I'm just gonna skip it a little bit oh man looks good it's loading fast there's no buffering nothing uh, honestly I really like it man okay so here it is guys uh, let me know what you think uh, I think everything is done so voila let me know what you think and uh, that's it for today guys and uh, à la prochaine